But I think with Ochi, we can just swim too, right? Oh no, we can't. Oh my god. What? What the heck? Oh my god, oh my god, I know, I know, let me do something about it! The trailer lied! They lied to us! Uh, let's go ahead and charge. Go, 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 go! Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up! <laughs> nice! Beautiful! Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Vlusel, and welcome back to Pikmin 4, part 3. Uh, in the last episode, we officially started our first new adventure in the Sun Speckled Terrace. And uh, came across a lot of new things. We found Russ, the scientist, Ice Pikmin, Ochi is freaking massive now. There's just so much, man. Wow, dude. This game is so good. Like, wait. That's the SS Dolphin right there. Bro, wait, wait, what? How is it over there? What the heck? But whatever. But yeah, it's wow, man. This game is so good. So much fun. I'm having such a blast playing this game, dude. I'm so, I, I, but yeah. What? I'm just ready to hop back into it. And so, uh, first things first, let's go and talk with everybody here. We have a whole lot of new stuff. But uh, before we talk with everyone, I accidentally opened up uh, our inventory here when uh, I ended up the recording last time. But if we go over here to Gears and Skills, we got a new app that we downloaded. We go ahead and check this out. We have Buff Level 1. Ochi's buff skill enables him to move things. It grants the power of three Pikmin enough. I completely read that wrong. <laughs> but okay, so it looks like if we level him up, we'll be, or his carrying power will increase. Chomp. Oh, so this is all Ochi, I think. Yeah, I think so. So Chop increases his damage. Rush increases the Rush thing. Interesting. All right, all right. So that's cool. We have gear and skills now. So I think skills will relate to Ochi and gear will relate to us. So let's go ahead and talk with uh, Shepard here. As soon as you two are ready, let's get your training started. Uh, yeah, let's train. All right, it's time to commence training. The journey will be long and arduous, but I have no doubt you two can handle it. Learn all Ochi's skills. It's a side mission, all right? This rescue pup training's curriculum has been passed down through many generations. If Ochi's pup drive has built up sufficiently, he can train and learn new skills without a problem. As for what skills to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach you want to take. Go the buff path if you want to carry heavy things, or go the chomp path if, you, if taking on creatures is your priority. But keep proper dandori practices in mind, and think carefully about what will help you carry out your duties efficiently. Okay, so, we do have three pup drive. I, I wonder how we get more pup drive, probably just by using Ochi. And so, if we level up to buff two, we get two more carrying capacity, or carrying uh, power. Rush, uh, shortens the time to for charge. I kind of don't mind the time that we have now. Dig, can't upgrade at all, I don't know why that's there then. Uh, learn heal. The skill increases Ochi's healing power. Okay, so Ochi can die? <laughs> okay. And command level two. Uh, partner to go to your base or call them to you. It also enables go here on the radar map. Okay, but what can that do for us? Can Ochi call Pikmin back to us? Oh, right, right, right. He's big now, so Pikmin can get onto him. Right. Okay, I think this is very, very useful. Let's get this. Nice. Good boy. Dude, perfect. All right, nice. And so with this, you can direct Ochi to gather Pikmin. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Oh, that's him rounding up straight Pikmin. I just read that off the screen. Okay, okay. But I think any that are by him anyways, any idle Pikmin, they will latch onto him. Scrummy Bone, what the heck? You put everything you had into that training. What a good boy, Ochi. Yes, you are. Now I have a special treat for you. No ball. Going forward, every time you complete training, you'll get a Scrummy Bone. Give it to Ochi as a reward for me. All right. No ball. Oh, this seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. Oh my god, dude, there's so much new stuff. Holy crap. All right, so hold down Y to open up our pack. You find all your items in there, so just pick the one you want to use. All right, so yeah, we also have our little command wheel here. We can disband, command, or switch from Ochi. Uh, we can't switch to him yet. Oh, so it looks like we can control Ochi. I didn't realize this last episode. Let's open up our pack. And yeah, we have one scrummy bone, a favorite snack that completely re-energizes Ochi. Eating one when at full health leads to a hefty HP increase. Guys, dude. Guys, this is so cool, man. This is insanely cool. Oh my god. Uh, here. Eat. Nice, there we go. Good boy. Alright, so looks like Shepard will be our skills for Ochi. Uh, Colin, we just need to talk with to head out. And uh, yeah, let's talk with Russ too. Ahem. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm Russ, the resident brains of this rescue corps operation. I use the raw materials you find in my and 
my home handmade components to create all kinds of items and gear for use in the field. Ah uh, yeah, let's visit the lab. I can proudly state that all my inventions have been perfectly perfected. You could even say I have it down to a science. In exchange for raw material, I provide you with new gear. Your contributions make it possible to continue my important work. I may run out of components from time to time. If that happens, just visit the lab the next day after I've restocked. Acquire all gear from the lab. Okay. So we have we are, we are able to get all skills and all gear. Okay. It will be a I actually like this. We we will have to uh balance how much we use material in the field compared to if we want to use it here to upgrade or get gear. And so we have the survey drone. It's imperative to explore your surroundings from every vantage point. Use this drone to scout the area. This will actually be this will actually be very useful, actually. Yeah. So we have 65 material. And so the charging horn. Yes. Here we go. This is what I was trying to do last episode. Thermal defense. Wear this to keep your fluctuating body temperature in line. Never freeze again. Even in sub-zero temperature. Ooh, okay. So we might have a uh, sub-zero environment. I don't think thermal defense is a necessity right now, even for Ochi as well. I can just move him around, uh, out of the way. But yeah, let's go ahead and get these two. Uh, oh, wait, before we do that, let's check items. Oh, prototype. Oh, we can just get a free one? Nice. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. There we go. Emergency kit. Life saving kit will protect you from getting knocked out. Okay, this is, this is just a safety measure. Yeah, okay, so let me first buy the survey drone and the uh, charging horn. Nice, there we go. Okay, so now let's go and buy a scrummy bone. Huh, okay. So there's a certain stock. Uh, let's not use everything. Let me just get a. Uh, let me get two more. Nice. So we have four, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Russ will have some more new gear for us later on. Hi. Kihi, I'd love to take this opportunity to teach you how to use my scientific masterpiece, the charging horn. It's actually quite simple. Just press X to blow the horn once and once and order your Pikmin to charge. Copia. If you press X once, only your selected Pikmin or Ochi will charge. But keep pressing X and the entire squad charges. As you can see, this horn is perfect for attacks or transporting objects. You should even call it Dandori Dyna Dynamite. Alright dude, thanks. We got so many new things. Okay, uh, we might as well increase Ochi's uh, health right now. Okay, here we go. Uh, boom. <laughs> nice dude okay interesting enough though i think this might be temporary boost because if you look at the health bar there it's yellow so maybe after a day that goes back down so maybe i just wasted some material but that's okay any health for ochi is good we're all set over here ssp can can take off whenever you're ready all right yeah let's explore man so yeah, I think we're the only area we can still go to is Sunspeckled, yeah. Oh, so yeah, we unlock more once we hit 1500. All right, here we are, back at the terrace. Tomorrow. Come in, come in, over. As we discussed earlier, OG has gone a bit, so this morning I decided to drill him on his jump skill. Nice, here we go. Ochi should be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the Pikmin on board. Walk up close to Ochi and press Y to mount. Press it again to dismount. Press X when you want Ochi to use jump. You should have no problem clearing small ledges. If you keep holding X after you jump, you can build up his power. Hit something with a rush to launch the Pikmin on his back and have them land on your target. Using jump will give you access to more search areas, and a good rush can be a game-changing move in a battle. Nice, okay, so yeah, we can use the rush in battle too. So yeah, now we can reach, uh... Actually, I, I, yeah, I still don't think we can, we can reach that uh, baseball, but we can reach new areas now. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and actually open up our map. Wrong button. So let's see. We have this thing over here. Oh, that's a cave. Okay. Oh, there's a cave over here up on this ledge. Okay. And uh, we can't get that. I remember that. Oh, we can drop pins too. Yo, I just noticed that. Uh, let's see here. Let me actually use this to open up our pack. And so, yeah, survey drone. I think this uses time. Yeah, okay. So this doesn't use time. Let's see. So if we go over here, we have... 
gloves. I think that might be a treasure. No. Another cave here, which we can jump up with Ochi. Yeah, okay, so... Oh, man, there's a lot of caves. Okay. So we can actually go in the caves right now, explore those, and come back up. No problem. And so, yeah, for starters, we'll head up this ledge and uh, head inside this cave. I'll see if I can get this baseball or, or not. But let me see what we can do with this switch. Play as Ochi. Yeah, nice. Here we go. Okay. Oh, yo. Okay, so Ochi is our different captain. Nice. <laughs> Good, perfect. Hectic Hollows. Someone or something built a rough wall inside the cave. The Pikmin and I were able to scramble up, but Moss was unable to climb up the wall. Oh, that's what uh, Olimara's dog is called. Moss, okay. I'll have to leave her behind for now and hope we can find a way or a place to meet up. Interesting. Okay, so we'll be on our own without Ochi. Let's go on our head in. We got our guys. I know now that this is asking us what we want to bring in. I don't want to bring everyone back in the onion. Alright, and I think we might be able to find someone here too. I hear Pikmin. Oh, they're trying to push that. Oh, it's Ice Pikmin. I don't think they can get eaten. Yeah, they just keep getting knocked around. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's try and help them out. So yeah, what is this? I believe you can turn this partial construction into a vital asset. We'll process raw material into clay at the SS Beagle and use it as a building material to finish the structure. These raw materials are only valuable when brilliant minds give them a higher purpose, after all. Once you're at a construction site, simply direct your Pikmin and Ochi to start building. Okay, so we can't build anywhere, but we can build on pre-existing structures. So let's go ahead and add some guys here. Oh, we need 14, okay. So let's see what these guys do. Oh, so they go to the Beagle and get the material. Yeah, okay, okay. And we'll leave- <laughs> look at them! <laughs> okay, we'll leave some guys on that. We got everyone here. Oh, we have some uh, ice pikmin here. Oh, we're over the limit. Okay. So, yeah, we see that uh, our limit number over there is in the red. So, I think once we hit the uh, or go back up to the surface, the pikmin that are not supposed to be out will go back in the onion. But we do have a treasure here and we can freeze this. Or I think we can. Oh, wait, here we go. Nice. Construction of the climbing wall is finished. You can scurry right up this expertly crafted wall and explore whatever waits at the top to your heart's content. Oh, but since Ochi isn't built for climbing, you'll want to find some place to meet back up with him. Okay, okay. So we need to do that with that bag over there. But I think with Ochi, we can just swim too, right? Oh no, we can't. Oh my god. What? Oh, okay, okay. This is bad. Ochi can't swim. Call him back to land with the whistle. What the heck? Oh my, god, oh my god, I know, I know, let me do something about it! The trailer lied! They lied to us! Move, 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 move! Everyone, move! Oh my god, okay, okay. Oh, what the heck? Now it's telling me? Okay. Huh? That seems like a lot of Pikmin. Is your squad bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. Ah, that makes sense. Man speaks the truth. Nice, beautiful. Oh, wow. wow, how amazing is that? The water froze almost instantaneously. Now you can travel right across the top. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at that. It's like a Russian doll. Alright, so we got that treasure. We're at 800 sparkling, dude. We're close to that 1500 limit. Alright, let's go. Okay, so luckily we have the charging horn too. Uh, let's go ahead and charge. Go, 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 go! Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up! <laughs> nice! Beautiful! Oh, what is this? Is this spicy spray? Huh, look at that red nectar! I wonder... Yeah, it is! Ultra spicy spray! A spray consisting of red nectar infused with ultra spicy compounds. Side effects still unknown. I believe this is that ultra spicy nectar that was mentioned in the voyage log. Keep, up, keep that sample sealed up in a bottle so it won't spill in your pack. Mm. There's a decent amount of ultra spicy essence there. It should be useful. Alright, we definitely gotta make use of this stuff. I remember in Pikmin 3 I used to hoard this stuff, so I gotta make sure I use it. So let's go ahead and help out our little ice Pikmin here. 
All right, man. We're working like a well-oiled machine, baby. Oh, this is the other half of the Russian doll. All right, Ochi. You can come now. Nice. There we go. Dude, we're so close. All right, so it looks like we've got everything we can here. Uh, that my tablet is saying that we got need something new, but yeah, hectic. Oh no, actually, hectic Gallows is at fifty percent. All right, here we go. Oh, we're going deeper. I didn't even notice. Yeah, that's that's going deeper. Okay. Here we go. Final sub level. This is a pretty big area. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy over there. All right, so. Let's see, I hear a drum. Yeah. Huh. Let's see what's inside here. Oh, what the freak is that? That's a new kind of a blow hog. All right, here we go. Charge up. Oh, freeze him, freeze him. Hi. What the heck is up with the music? What the heck? Why is that so epic? All right, so we have a treasure up there too. I think we need to get up here though, to actually access that. Nice, okay, good stuff. Hydro Jelly Burst. And uh, I, I don't think we can reach that guy yet. I don't think so. Let's go ahead and get this though, maybe. Yeah. Nice, good job. It looks like... I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I thought that would be a gavel, but I don't think so. But uh, let's see. Oh, actually, we can uh, rush it, yeah. Nice, good job. Nice, there we go. I think we might have found another rescue officer. Let's hurry and verify their ID info. This is Schnoz, treasure appraiser. Home planet from Sig Sigure. Interesting, okay. He's got my same hairstyle. An acclaimed treasure appraiser who's traveled extensively. His unique techniques were used to, de to develop a leading appraisal AI. Alright, he's the guy that came up with the naming one. Hang on, this is no rescue officer. Who is this, and how did he get here? The ID shows that he's a treasure appraiser. What's he doing on this planet? Oh. Hmm, I wonder. Marco. Do you remember the voyage log that arrived with Captain Olimar's SOS signal? Perhaps there were others who picked up his signal, saw the log, and decided to come all this way in search of treasure. Marco. Maybe they ended up like Captain Olimar too, shipwrecked and stranded. That's my hunch anyway. I'd like to think this appraiser is the only one, but... We should keep an eye out for more civilian castaways and be ready to rescue them too. Chances are they're in danger. I'm officially adding this to our mission list. Got it, you two? Okay, cool. That's very interesting. As if we didn't have enough work finding Captain Olimar in the Rescue Corps, there are also civilian castaways on this planet. Rescue any that you come across. Okay. Very, very interesting. That does make sense. I mean, that SOS signal would go out to everybody. And so that makes me think, we might actually be seeing some reoccurring characters. You know, maybe we'll see Alf, Charlie, Charlie, and Brittany, or even- Do we? Let's go on and head back up though. Wow, man, 30 minutes in, <laughs> we've only done such, I mean, we've done a lot, but barely gotten that much into the day. Oh, okay, so one rescue plus equals one pup drive. Okay. So yeah, we got the Mama Doll Head, Empty Vase, Aspiration Ritual Pull, and four creatures. Nice. Good stuff. Investigation complete and 100% at Hectic Hollows. God, we still have a whole nother cape to explore, dude. So much to do. I will try to stick with one day, one episode. I don't want to just cut out or cut an episode in the middle of a day. That'll just be really, really weird. But uh, recording time will probably go up. But you know what? We got to keep up the continuity. All right, here we go. What's the problem? Oh, I see. The Pikmin will follow you into the surface. Yeah, there are limits to how many and uh, what types of Pikmin you can have on on the surface at any one time. But don't worry about the rest when you choose which Pikmin to take. Tani. Any remaining Pikmin will go back to the Onion with the SS Beagle. Alright. New Voyage Log Entry. Explored 100% of Cave. We can't get this baseball, but I think what I can do... Let me go ahead and pause real quick.
what I can do in terms of our episode time is that I can do whatever I want in the episode or in the day. But when we are reaching that time limit and we haven't quite hit the uh, the sunset uh, counter, I can just head back. I'm pretty sure just aboard a uh, day prematurely, which uh, will suck. But I don't want to edit like an hour and 30 minute episode. That's like a whole finale time limit right there. And so let's just go ahead and see. Uh, all right, right, right. Let's go ahead and head over here. We have a, a, a another cave we can explore. So yeah, here's the cave. And we have a strawberry here. Let's go ahead and actually bring this back. And so what I can do as well is switch to... Oh, not that. I can switch to Ochi. Open up the map and bring him over here. Yeah, go here. There you go. Let's go ahead and make the most of what we can right now. Wow, man, there's so much to do. Okay, okay. So we have an area here too that we can access as well. We can drop this paper bag down. Another cave here too. And some more treasure we can get. Okay, so Ochi has arrived over there too. I'll wait until all the Pikmin have gone there. Let's go ahead and try to take out some enemies though. Oh, it's an old landing spot. Oh, okay, okay. Huh, another circle of stones. We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Olimar left- Oh, my bad. <laughs> left them behind for us so we can- So we could track him down. Never mind that for now. I wonder if we're in this creature's territory. We should create a base here. Any Dandori master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. Alright, yeah, dude, that makes so much sense. Yeah, obviously with these new, like, massive areas... Oh, I noticed you looking at the radar map just now. Why don't I tell you about a handy little function it has? Hello, hello. The system will mark discovered caves and cleared areas with an arrow or a transfer arrow. If you go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It's a very useful way to keep track of your objectives. Huh, okay. Wait, so what does that mean, though? Oh, I see. That's a cave we haven't done yet. Right. Just letting us know we can go to that one. Okay, okay. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Oh, here we go. Rugged scaffold. Oh, this is the landing spot. I see. Okay. Press A to call the SSB go to base. Okay, okay. And of course, Pikmin will come with it. I see. Okay, okay. That's cool. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and call the... Yeah, move the base. Nice, we can move it mid, uh, midday. That's really good, that's really good. Come on, guys. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So if we look over here, we have an area... Oh, there we go, there's blue Pikmin over there. All right, let's try it, let's try this. Okay, uh, let's freeze. Oh, we need 30. Great, okay. I think we only have a max of 15 ice Pikmin right now. Dang it, dude, what a tease. I can literally see them right there, okay. So we're midday. Alright, so let's see. If we can go around back through this way, where the Flarlic is, yeah, we can get the uh, raw material there and work on the bridge while doing that. And act, yeah, open this up too. Okay. But before I do that, let me go ahead and take care of this uh, bull board here. Fight back! Fight back! Beautiful. Beautiful work. Alright, bring them back. Oh, wait, what? Oh, right, right. Okay, we gotta be mindful of that, too. So, breaking an, uh, a frozen enemy, we can't bring them back for our Pikmin. We can only destroy them, and they drop nectar. Interesting. Okay, so it's a, it's a trade-off using the Ice Pikmin. I see. I do wonder, though, how we get more Ice Pikmin. I think they might be, like, the purples and the whites from Pikmin 2. We can only get new ones from the caves. And uh, that's another thing. <laughs> I wonder when we'll be getting our uh, purple and white Pikmin. All right, so we've got guys working on all the things I need them to be working on. Let's go ahead and get Ochi digging this up. And uh, I think, yeah, we can reach this. Actually, no, no, no. Before we do that, let's go ahead and make a shortcut. Great job. All right, so there we go. Open up this cave. Nice, dude. Dude, this is so freaking satisfying, man. It's so satisfying getting all this stuff done, dude. It really, really is. All right, so we have two new caves that we can explore. The day is slowly running out. But uh, looks like we are coming up on areas that we can't progress. So we have electric fence here we'll need yellow Pikmin for. All right, so we've got everyone here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can get right now. But I don't think there is. We can't access that treasure and the base. Oh, we have something right here. I didn't even notice. Yeah, we'll let all those guys carry that. 
And then, the, yeah, the day is slowly coming to a close, so I do gotta hurry and uh, explore this cave really quick. And here we go. This is Industrial Maze. The ground, it started moving. I groped for a way forward, but I couldn't make any progress on my own. I wonder if Moss may be able to help me out of this mess. Okay, so it looks like the treadmills might be going the opposite way. Yeah, I like the different, uh, I mean, I guess we've only seen two different types of environments in the caves, but yeah, this one is really industrial, but we've also had the natural look too. Hey, here we are. Oh, what the heck? Oh no, this isn't supposed to happen. Oh, she's all the way over there. Captain, what's the protocol for a situation like this? You and Ochi need to find a rendezvous point, V. Open Y and use L to select Switch to explore as, a, as Ochi. Okay, I see. So we gotta explore as Ochi himself. I can't even see the bottom of this cave. Dude, yeah, look at this, man. Look at the, the skybox here, the environments. We got chains. And it's just endless, dude. God, look at the pipes. Dude. Everything looks just looks so good. This looks so cool. So yeah, we can actually... Oh no, yeah, if, even if we do go there, there's nowhere we can go. It's gonna push us back. Let's go ahead and switch with Ochi. Huh? Ochi can't get past this fence. We have a skateboard there. Aww, <laughs> That's all the tech deck. F board. <laughs> Yo, I used to go crazy with the tech decks back in the day. Sure, Jan. All right, here we go. We got a button. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and switch this. Let's switch back to V. Head this way. And activate this. All right, we're here. Good evening. Oh, yo, yellows, dude! We got some yellow Pikmin. Is this a new type of Pikmin? I should check to see if Captain Olimar's log says anything about them. The yellow Pikmin. I've decided to call the yellow-colored Pikmin with large ear-like appendages, yellow Pikmin. I like that name a lot, more than ear Pikmin. <laughs> they're resistant to electricity, and they fly high when thrown. Plus, they're good at digging. No. Resistant to electricity? How unusual. What in the world are they made of? That sounds like a potentially useful quality, though. Just be careful how you deploy them. There aren't that many. Yeah, you're right. We only have four here. So let's see. Um, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and hop on Ochi here. Yeah, let's rush past that treadmill. Oh, I didn't make it. Crap. Nice, okay. So we can go ahead and get some guys on this. Oh, I see, okay, so these Pikmin can't move with the piece there. Let's go and switch it for them. Nice, there you go. And then we need to switch it back. There we go. And so now we can use the Pikmin, yeah, yeah, yellow Pikmin to go higher. Get our little tech deck over here. Perfect. All right, and there we go. We got the tech deck. And so let's get everyone on board and let's head, I think, that's deeper. Yeah, deeper into the cave. All right, pop open that new sub-level. I'll wait for those guys to transport that. And I think uh, they should come with us anyways. Yeah, we should be fine. Sub-level 2. 50% done. I think we might find someone else. Dude, we're finding a lot of people. This is the final sub-level. Let's see what we got here. I see that guy right there too. Yeah. Wow. We have a big magnifying glass there, okay? Oh, and it's a little... I, think, I don't know what this thing is called. Maybe like a wisping? But they drop uh, nectar. I don't really... Actually... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to use it for our yellows, but... Whatever. Oh, yeah. It's a rubber ducky. Don't get this. All right. So we have this floating fan thing. And we have more yellows. Okay, let's get these guys. I wish Ochi could help me pluck. That's alright though. Oh yeah, we hit 1500. Nice. Hello. You did it! Really great job, Ochi and V. With all the energy you've collected, we can continue our restoration of the SS Shepherd's radar. Nice, there we go. Alright, so that looks like the exit over there. So we can't go through here. We gotta go past this fan thing. Let me go back and uh, get our guys, though. Alright. 
This is so cool, man. I'm loving all these new uh, new mechanics and things in the depth, uh, not the depths, <laughs> the caves here. Yay! Oh, cool. Okay. That lowers this fence, but we can't get past this one. Oh, I think I know what we can do. Let's go ahead and throw everyone over here, right? Yeah. And I think we should be... Oh. Yeah, yeah. So we can walk through. But let's go ahead. Yeah, Ochi can't come with us. So, okay. Let's see. We can get some yellows up here, right? Yeah, there we go. Right, so they can bring him back. Oh, they can't. Oh, they can't fit through. Okay, I see. So we have to break this. Oh, that lowered this fence too. Okay. So I didn't realize that we could walk through this stuff uh, with us either way too. Nice. Okay, lower that paper bag. And we can go ahead and bring this back to the beagle as well. But we need to find a way. Oh, actually, yeah. The electric get demolished. Nice. Perfect. So yeah, I think this way. Yeah, perfect, perfect. We can destroy this with Ochi. And we can dig this treasure up with uh, the yellow Pikmin too. And oh, it's another spot for the beagle. Let's go and move this here. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we have other spots where we can move uh, the beagle in the caves too. It's really, really good to know. Nice. We got the glass, the magnifying glass, and a new castaway. Checking ID info now. I hope it's one of our rescue officers this time. Florist Kingsley, home planet from Uji. He took his obsession with flowers to a new level when he traveled alone to this remote planet simply to see its unusual blossoms. Yo, this is so cool. We're seeing so many people from all different kinds of planets. So we got a florist now. Nope, this is another civilian castaway. A florist out here on his own. But why? Well, that's just still advised. It's up to you to rescue any castaways you find, Vianochi. Yep, make sure to do it, man. New gear is now available. We got 2,000 sparkling too. Oh, look at that! Great adventure com uh, series complete. You've, com you've collected a whole lot of sparkling. But we need even more, so don't let up. Okay, so yeah, you guys saw that too, right? They, it filled up all those circles. So I think each treasure has a category of its own. So I'm, interesting, I'm interested to see what that changes up. We'll see though. So uh, yeah, we've 100% uh, industrial maze. Let's go ahead and head back out. Let's return to surface. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, we rescued him. We got another pup drive. Oh my god, dude. We got a lot of stuff. Oh, uh -huh. what is a star-shaped metal? Rust tinkered with the appraisal AI. Now you'll be able to see when you've collected all the treasures in a series. Hehe, <laughs> he. there's a res resonance in the wave patterns for treasures of the same type that lets us extract even more sparklium. Can't say that I get the science behind it, but it sounds like we should try to collect complete series. Ah, okay, so the magnifying glass and the binoculars, for example, are part of the same series. Oh, there we go, okay. <laughs> I was scared. I thought the game bugged. I couldn't move there for a second. And so we got the memory fragment, top right. Oh yeah, so I might actually make a whole puzzle. Personal injury plank, st stately rubber cutie, unlimited locomotive, detective's truth seeker, and great adventure series. Nice, man. Good stuff all around. Investigation complete. And we got some yellow Pikmin too. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, here we are. Completed that cave. And yeah, this is fine. We're about to head back up or head back to uh, base camp. Yeah. Huh. So yeah, perfect day, man. Perfect day. We uh, executed the art of Dandri to its perfection. And uh, I think we did as much as we could today. So let's go ahead and uh, head back. Yeah, here we go. We can end the day prematurely. We are on the countdown anyways. Hey, we're back. I wonder what we're gonna do with the new castaways that we got, too. Here we go.
Nice, there we go. Now we'll be able to see a new area. If we're going to restore the SS Shepherd's radar and expand our search area, we need you to go out and gather more sparkling. This will expand our range and help us pick up distant SOS signals. Let's give it a spin. Almost done. Huzzah! We've detected multiple SOS signals. I hope this gets us closer to finding our missing officers and Captain Olimar. Make a record of that area right away, Colin. Okay, here we go. Day three, we got Schnoz and Kingsley, the treasure appraiser and florist. Oh my god, dude. We got a lot of stuff, dude. No need to go over it all again. We already went through it. Great adventure series. So yeah, the clock and the binoculars, compass, and the magnifying glass. Okay. So I remember the bike, though, that we got in the first episode. It's, uh, its series was pretty big. So I wonder, man, I wonder how much stuff there is to collect. I mean, I've already in this one area, we collected so many things. I'm really, really excited to keep on going, dude. And I hope you guys are too. All right, so yeah, 40% done with Speckled Terrace. I'm so shocked that Captain Olimar isn't the only castaway on this planet. Well, Olimar's SOS signal was transmitted across the entirety of outer space. So it's not completely unexpected that the message would capture the attention of adventure seekers and draw them here. And as the rescue corps, now it's our duty to rescue every last one of them. I love the enthusiasm. Of course, the more rescues we make, the more crowded the rescue command post will get. Call it. I need you to further develop and expand the rescue command post. Copy that, Captain. My list of job duties just keeps getting longer and longer. Alright, man. Missions just keep on growing. We still got our rescue core, rescue mission, the energy source, and Olimar, and everybody else. This is so cool, man. Let's go ahead and see what happens in the next day. So yeah, I already saw the florist over there. Let's see what's up. Oh, no strategy meeting. Okay. Shanaz would like to speak with you. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and talk with everybody in the next episode again. We'll go ahead and end it off here, man. So, wow, wow, dude. What an amazing episode. We did so much in this day, dude. Really, really perfected the Dandori today, man. Did two caves, 100% of both, and got so many new treasures. We got two new pup drives. I gotta upgrade Ochi in the next episode, too. We gotta do so much in the next episode, man. So much. And I'm just ready to get back into it next time, man. And so, with that out of the way, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And hey, while you're at it, why not subscribe for more videos just like this. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.